there, it's me, Thriftastic Mom, and today I'm going to share a meat haul with you guys. I thought I would do this haul different than my other regular grocery haul. That'll be coming in a, another couple days. But this is all the meat that me and my husband went and picked up at the meat market today. Um, we spent $100 on all this meat here. And it was like 102 altogether, but my husband mm -hmm. bought a drink also so anyway it was about a hundred bucks for everything you see here on the table we got some good deals today and i just wanted to share it with you and show you what all you can get for a hundred dollars at your local meat markets so we got a lot of chicken to restock our freezer with so let me show you the prices here we got this uh, pack of fryer drumsticks two dollars and thirty six cents it's got one two three four Five, six drumsticks in that then we got this pack of fryer thighs it's got five in it a dollar ninety seven can't beat that and this is good meat because we've bought it before and it's really good um, fryer leg quarters looks like two four six pieces for two dollars seventeen cents then we got another pack of the uh, thighs here. Five pieces for $2.15. Then we got a, another pack of legs here. It's got six in it for $2.45. And another pack of leg quarters. These were $2.47 for another six pieces legs and thighs so we got all that that's all the chicken we got then we bought this big boston butt here look how big this thing is guys it was ten dollars 99 cent which is a really good price because you won't find it at walmart for that ten dollars 99 cent for that big piece of boston butt we picked up two of these uh chuck steaks we got these last time we went they were so good so we got this one here. It was six bucks. And then we got this one here. It's a little bit bigger. It was seven dollars seventy-four cents. Look how pretty that is. And it's actually a good steak because normally I'm a ribeye girl. I like a good soft piece of meat, and I was kind of worried about getting these because I had never ate them. But I come home, cooked them, and they were so good, so flavorful, really good. They wasn't tough. Really good steaks. So. For that price, we say yes to the steaks. Okay, here I got pork chops. We love the bone-in pork chops the best. And they had these. It's got one, two, three, four. It's like five bone-in pork chops for $4.08, which is really good. I haven't seen them that cheap at Walmart, for sure. Um, here's another one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's like five for four dollars and ten cents. Can't beat that. Then we got two packs of bacon. Um, this one was six dollars and forty six cents. And this one here was six dollars and eighty eight cents. Really good bacon. All these here are ground beefs. We got a lot of ground beef. And then back here, we got some um, hot sausage. The hot sausage was better than the mild. It was just more flavorful last time we got it. So we went with the hot. This individual pack here was $3.89. This one was $4.14. And this one was $4.07, which is pretty good. I mean, you'll pay that or more for the Jimmy Dean that I normally like. It's according to where you get it, what grocery store you get it at. So it's really good fresh sausage at a good price. And the ground beef we paid up on because we needed more meat. We paid like 16 for several packs and then we got a couple more packs there for 11. So it all rounded up to $100. That's what you get for 100 bucks from the meat market. Um, really good prices, I can't complain. And plus, all of my meats over here are already wrapped in freezer paper. I don't have to break any meat down and, and wrap it myself. 
so it all works out good it's good quality meat and the main thing is when we go there they always have meat because right now if you go to walmart you're lucky if you find meat and if you do you just got to get what you can get well when you go to the meat market they have meat so that's why we've been going to the meat market plus it helps you support your local meat markets you know so it's a win-win but anyway that's everything that i got meat wise in this meat market haul i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that we picked up and like i say I'll, I'll have a regular grocery haul in a couple more days just showing you what i picked up either from walmart or aldi's i'm not sure yet where i'm gonna get it from so you'll be getting this haul and another grocery haul so anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you did y'all give me a big thumbs up y'all leave me some comments down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and if you do subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell that way you can be notified when I put up new videos and posts and things. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. You have a good one. God bless. Bye.